Bonjour again, mesdames and messieurs. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And Miss and me, Miss and me, I remember that. That's my friends. Uh, this is Mike Kelly again at hisform.com. Uh, you know, I played around with this a little bit. First of all, I have to apologize, or I don't know if apology is the right word. I, you know, I just really don't know anything about Daz. Uh, that's my problem. Um, I've explained that on a number of times. I'm just not a, I'm not a Daz guy. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Uh, so uh, I, I know a lot about iClone, a lot, but Daz not my thing. So um, so that's that's I, I played around a little bit more, and I did find a way to get the motions uh, from Daz into iClone. So I thought I would show you those hosts. So so what I've done is I went here, and I I don't remember how I got this. I I dropped some Daz poses in here on top of this. I, I guess this is how you do animations. I'm not sure. Uh, again, because I'm not really a, a dad's guy, I don't understand how to do this well, but uh, apparently, uh, and this is the timeline, and I don't even know how to expand the timeline. That that shows you how little I know about dads. There apparently are 30 frames. I don't know if that's all you have or if there's, if there's more, um, but <laughs> again, this just shows my ignorance about dads. Uh, but apparently you can, um, if I get to back to where I was, Let's see, there were some poses here somewhere. Animals, poses, there we go. So so what I did was I just dragged some poses in for walking on the timeline. Obviously they're not very good, so I would have to, you know, sync them up a little bit better, but, yeah, you know, whoops, whoa. Well, that doesn't look good. All right, I was trying to find another, another pose I could start with. How about... Uh, Let's see. Well, that's running, standing. I don't know. I'll put a standing in here. Maybe, maybe a, maybe a standing would work here. No, oh, that's it's twisting it. Anyway, I draw, I drag a couple of walking poses in. Okay, walking poses. So I just dropped them on the timeline here, and apparently that made the horse walk a little bit. Okay. Now, how do we get this animation over into iClone? Well, the first thing we have to do is when we export it. Uh, and I went horse walk. When we do the export, then the first thing we have to do is make sure we have animations checked. Normally, I don't have this checked because I'm never trying to get animations checked. So we want to make sure we have animations checked. And then we go to accept, okay? And then that will send those animations over to uh, where we're going to use them, okay? So now we go into exchange. We go to file, open, and we're going to open that horse walk anim uh, animation file. The other thing that's very important to do when we when we import this in is we want to make sure we have import animation checked. Okay? So we want to make sure we, we do that. Okay? 12 samples per second is good. So uh, that's just how many... It's not... Some people think, was that 12 frames per second? No, that's just how many samples. It's sampling per second to smooth things out. So it's fine. So uh, now we bring it in that way, and it's going to take a little bit of time to, to think about it as it comes in here, with the animations. Okay, now we have it in here. We actually have that animation in here. If we click on it and then go on here, you'll see there's the animation. Okay, it's not, not a great animation, but it's in there. So, uh, but we still need to change this into a format that uh, iClone will understand. That's my phone ringing, but it's usually always a... Uh, a prank call. See? And it, so we want to still convert to non-human. We want to do that. That's the important thing is to convert that rig to the same rig that we're using inside of iClone. So the bone structure is exactly the same because what we're going to do is we're going to export this motion and be able to use it for the existing avatar that we have. So we say, okay, got that converted. And now all we have to do is go file, and export, and we want to make sure that we export the animation. Export an animation. And we want to export it as RL motion. Okay. The name, the name of it is up there. So it's in there, the documents. And once we do that, we can hit enter. It already exists because I've already done this once, but I'll but I'll do it again. So it exports that animation that we just did, and it's not exporting the, the avatar itself, but just that motion that we did. So we'll wait till it comes over. It takes a little bit of time to export. I don't know why, it's not really not much to it, but uh, it does. 
and I'm assuming, and there we go. Okay, so now inside of iClone, this is that horse that we did before. I just did this one. And as a matter of fact, remember we, we had it, so we've got the little morph things that it does that and that bone animation to bring the head up like that. Okay, so now if we load in the motion on top of that, all you have to do is go to, doc, uh, go to where I saved that file. I'll show you. So the file over here is that horse walk animation, that motion. So we can just take that motion and drag it on top of that horse, and that puts that animation there. So now he does that, and he still does the morph stuff. So obviously, the key, of course, is to get the Daz an <laughs> animation correct. I don't know how to do this. I'm not a Daz guy. Those of you that are using Daz, uh, I'm assuming that you'll know how to do this. I'm also assuming you'll know how to make the timeline bigger. I have, I have no idea about any of those things. Uh, but that's how you can get animations from Daz into iClone for your horses or for really any of the other animals that you might have. Uh, the same process will be the same way. Okay, so hopefully this helps and finishes up my experience with horses. I really am never going to animate a horse again in my life, but I might animate an animal, so you never know. All right, take care. We'll see you on the forums.